What's up everybody, my name is Sashing Pix and welcome to another video and today I wanted to do a collection tour and yeah I haven't done something like this uh, in a bit and honestly I've been wanting to do this type of video for a while now I just haven't really liked the cut or anything that I've shot before um, I always shot some stuff but you know there was always some issues and everything so hopefully this time around I'll get to show you my collection. It's part of my display piece. I'm going to do more videos uh, using this background. Obviously I'm still experimenting with lights and stuff like that but I hope that's all fine and dandy. Um, but yeah let's get started on my collection tour. Right guys so starting here um, I already said a little bit about the information but all of these are Hasbro so this is the Hasbro uh, Shadow Trooper. Honestly, I need to clean these because these are dusty. And this is a little Ghostface plush that I love. If you know me, I love Ghostface. I uh, love Scream and everything. I have a poncho. <laughs> I have this mask and everything. So I love this uh, character a lot. So I thought getting a plush would be there. And honestly, I do have some card backs here. Um, obviously, it's uh, been open, but this is the retro symbiote Spider-Man, which I love that figure them a lot. And here is the Little Caesars, uh, the Batman poster that I framed. It's honestly a beautiful, beautiful poster. I wish it was bigger, but you know, this was by Little Caesars, and honestly, it looks great. And honestly, again, here is the Boba Fett helmet. I wish I would have gotten the original trilogy version, but you know, it is what it is, and I love it either way. And this is obviously the Hasbro Clone Trooper helmet, the one that came out for the Clone Wars TV show. I've expressed that I wanted to uh, to modify it and probably make this part more realistic. I've seen some mods and everything, but honestly, I haven't gotten around to that. I picked this up at the flea market, so I did clean it and everything for that. So it is pretty good, and I got this years, years ago. And here is the stormtrooper helmet that i got that's honestly pretty good this is probably one of the best helmets that hasbro has ever done i wish i could have gotten the the clone trooper helmet but you know um i am on a budget when it comes to stuff like this and these are kind of expensive uh but comparing them to other expensive helmets these are a good price if you are able to get them and covering this I need to glue this or restick this, but this is the Antarja uh, that I did back in high school for Woodshop. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of this work. It's not perfect. There is like a little breaking thing over there that's not supposed to be there. And the paint or the wood staining is not as uh, clean as I like it to be. But honestly, it gives it more of like a realistic type of craftsmanship that I like. So uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty much proud of this because I made this and I love Star Wars and you know it just looks pretty dope and I don't think that this is something any other collector has uh, probably but you know I like to think that this is probably the, one of the most unique things that I have about, about my collection. And honestly in this corner there's not much it's just the Godzilla RC figure and a couple of plushes and I do have my uh, goggles from the, the park from Avengers Campus plus a little mask there and a bubble bank but that's about it and over here in this corner I have my uh, Lego Star Wars collection as you can see I have the ATST no sorry the ATRT my bad uh, the Imperial Troop Transport another ATRT type variant and a micro fighters like gunship and a Micro Fighters uh, AT, AT Walker. And here is my collection of Legos. I don't collect Legos that much anymore, but these are the, the collection that I amassed over the years. So here is my little custom squad that I made, or that I like to think that they're in a little squad. I like to call them Blood Squad because of the red blood, blood type uh, paint that they have, like a maroon red. I know these are existing characters already, like Arc Trooper, the uh, Neo, and uh, the Arc Trooper, so it is a little bit of a headcanon thing, so yeah. And here is my Phase 1 uh, Trooper collection. This is all the Phase 1 Troopers that I have, and as you can see, most of them are not even official LEGO. Um, I think only the uh, Pilot, 
and the gunner and that regular trooper are the only official legos but other than that um it's not much it's just it, this is like uh, not like a bootleg uh this one's a bootleg too kind of only the helmet really and here is my 212 and i think i know these are kashik troopers but i know they have an official designated number sorry for the sheik cam but here it is and i have amassed a pretty uh, huge 501st lego clone army uh, this is just like um, what i'm able to display here i have more in a bucket somewhere and this is my mandalorian section here i think this is a pretty good set it comes with the speeder and next to it is going to be my lego heroes uh stuff with all my rebels and under that is the uh, first order snow troopers and next to that is my separatist and more uh, first order stuff. So that is my Lego uh, collection. And here is the meat and potatoes of this video. So first off, here we have my prequels uh, uh, shelf. So this is what I have for my prequel stuff. It's not a lot, <laughs> but it is what it is. So I have the Clone Wars Darth Maul, the General Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new Padawan Tano, SH Fiords, Anakin Skywalker, Black Series Padme, the Jesse, and the two Commander Apples. So this makes up my prequels uh, shelf. And I do have more uh, clones, uh, but that's going to be in another section of the later on, a little bit later on. So moving a little bit down here, we have my OT style um, shelf. So this has like all the characters like in the imperial era so i know that this is not necessarily like original trilogy uh style but it is in the same realm so i just uh bundle them together so i have i know this is early obi-wan so i placed them like towards the back corner then ahsoka and then the new mando uh I think it was the Minds of Mandalore Mando, and then the Harris and Dula with the SH Figuarts uh, Boba Fett, Death Trooper, and the Purge Trooper, and then the Storm Trooper. And as you can see here, I have the Dark Times uh, Darth Vader, excellent figure, probably one of my favorite Darth Vaders out there. The Moff Gideon, the Black Series Cad Bane, uh, Bo-Katan Kreese, Ezra Bridger, Sabine, and then the twins, I have Yoda here with Luke, and uh, Leia right here, and then, and then the bottom right here, we have uh, Rogu. I would put him with Mando, but you know, you, you wouldn't really be able to see him. And moving down here is probably one of my favorite displays that I have. Uh, it is my Marvel Legends, uh, my Marvel shelf, I would say. <laughs> it's not all 100% Marvel Legends. Uh, as you can see, I have a mix of Mezco, Mafex, and SH Figuart, so it is a mixed bag. I know that is also kind of comic mixed with the uh, live actions, but I had limited space, so uh, this is the best that I could do, honestly, for my collection. Uh, but yeah, moving on to my collection, as you can see, I have Taskmaster, Wasp, and the SH3 Yards Spider-Man in the back, along with uh, Shuri. And honestly, the SH3 Yards uh, Spider-Man is honestly one of my favorite grill figures of all time. It is a great figure to have, and I recommend it. Uh, I think probably the Mafex will dethrone it, but as of now, this is the best Spider-Man on the market. And in the middle section here, you see I have Punisher, the Mezco Daredevil, and then also the uh, new red and blue Spider-Man. And here at the bottom, you can see it's just mostly comic stuff. So towards the back is mostly MCU, and the front is mostly comic. The Black Panther, the Black Widow, amazing figure as well. And uh, the Captain America along with the Iron Man here. Uh, great figures i like to consider this as my avengers display even though i am missing thor and uh, also uh, hulk or with wasp but you know and over here i have my little spider-verse i guess corner here with the uh, venom miguel o'hara spider-man 
and the Mayfix, uh, Spider-Man also here, Deadpool is hanging out. That's the SH Figuarts with the Lego Deadpool. And over here to the left, we have the SH Figuarts Thanos with the Moon Knight and the uh, War Machine in the background. So these are great figures, but they do take up a lot of real estate when it comes to this. And honestly, the LEDs here were originally placed because I had my Halloween display uh in october so i just thought that this would be honestly a good spot for my marvel legends and during halloween i just usually put all of these marvel legends and you know marvel figures into storage and place my horror figures mostly NECA, some uh, limb toys stuff like that so um it is kind of a thing that i like to do yearly so yeah this is my marvel shelf and mostly everything else is just dominated by star wars honestly but this is just the marvel legend sections that i do have and over here is my kaiju display it's not uh brand spanky new i use this spot for uh, box storage mainly so um it does look a little bit underwhelming but as you can see uh, originally had the uh the one bandai figure over there the 1954 godzilla and then i started slowly getting into godzilla more and started buying godzilla figures and from there you can see the NECA tokyo sos uh godzilla pretty dope godzilla and then next to it is the haya toys uh godzilla 2019 uh figure and it is an amazing figure so i highly recommend it for what you're getting i think it's better than the monster the monster arts next to it is the uh NECA king kong this is the variant that i got for i guess a uh, discount so I couldn't pass it up so having the Kong there even though he is bigger so I love having that I also do have the playmates I believe uh, Shimu and Godzilla Evolve I know they're not to scale but it is what I have for now and then over here at the bottom are just some minifigures that I picked up from Jada Toys taking a closer look up here I do have the Cinemark Godzilla X Kong plush and I saw this actually while I went to go watch Dune I went there to go pick up both plushies, but since they only had Kong, I decided to pick that one up along with the popcorn bucket. And I honestly do think that it looks pretty dope. I only wish I got Godzilla, but of course it was sold out. And next to it, I have the Jolene statue from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that I won at around one arcade, and it's pretty dope. Now, if only I had a big enough jar. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, uh, here is the Marvel Legends Tasm figure. It is a pretty dope figure. This is where I have my other Marvel stuff. So these are my Doc Ock and uh, Green Goblin figures. Uh, since these are deluxe figures, I had to put them up there. They wouldn't fit in the display below for obvious reasons. For yeah, so, but they're amazing figures. You can see that I am missing one of those little flaps up there for his tentacles. And here is my Grail figure. This is the Hot Toys. 501st uh clone trooper and honestly this was a pretty big purchase uh, and i got this from frankensons i forget where i think it's called toy hideout that i got this from for good price so uh yeah i'm hoping to get my second hot toys these sabine ren soon and i again this is just these are expensive figures so i'm only cherry picking from here and here and there but for now it looks like he's gonna have a second uh, hot toys to accompany him anyways uh you could see that this is the rest of my black series display it's more of a bad batch uh slash clones uh display at the top row you see i have the scorch my custom crosshair thanks to camino and customs the uh elite squad stormtrooper and then two other clones but yeah this is my honestly probably one of my favorite displays that i have here uh, I love the clones and these new figures are honestly pretty good to have on display. Again, I customize also the Bad Batch uh, at various degrees. So you can see Hunter does have a, uh, a like a finish plus some battle damage. I'm sorry for the lighting guys. Uh, but yeah, um, Crosshair has some paint and some damage and as well as the other group. They have more of a mad spray. And here at the bottom is my uh, Clone Commanders, Wolf, uh, Cody, Bly, and we have Rex, also Fennec Shen because she was in the Bad Batch. 
but yeah this is honestly what i have and in the background i do have some funko pops as well just to make everything pop more and on top i do have a burger king spider-man which i honestly think is pretty dope uh, and i'm glad that i still have i hope to repaint it someday because it looks dope uh, but yeah, I do have the Second Sister, the Iron Versio, and then the BBA and the Covert Mandalorian. I know it's a bit hard to see, but that's about it of what I have of Funko Pops. And here in the back, I have Creature from the Black Lagoon. He's just sitting in his sarcophagus waiting to get uh, displayed for Halloween again. But honestly, it looks great, the packaging also. So it's a great figure as well. So yeah, this is the top. And honestly, that's about it for my... Uh, collection tour uh, all of this is just the main thing I have figures scattered here and there so uh, I don't know if I want to uh, bring in my other stuff uh, such as that uh, storage stuff so uh, let me know I might do like a little uh, TikTok or maybe like a YouTube shorts but yeah guys and that was my collection guys so thank you guys for watching this far into the video uh, please tell me what you guys think about my uh, collection tour and my collection. Um, I hope to add more stuff in the future, but honestly, as you can see, uh, space is something of an issue. I mean, every collector can honestly say something about that, you know, space and everything. Um, but there are some creative things that I am willing to do to store my figures, probably add more, uh, I guess, more shelves, shelving in the in the walls see what i can do to add more space thank you guys for watching please leave a like and check out my other platforms such as tiktok and instagram i do uh, toy photography on instagram and behind the scenes uh, stuff on tiktok usually i don't post that much there but it's just a random uh, set of assortments but yeah guys thank you guys for watching peace